Hello everybody, glad to have you with us. Welcome to baseball action. Outfield left to right. Mazzoni, Spellman, and Rusky for the Trevians. Third to first is uh, Duxbury. Duxbury Cook, Hall, and Will Neal. A battery today of Dylan Napoleon and Justin Wells. Leading it off, Jason Stein for the Hotland Park Giants. And we're all set to get underway with this one. And the first pitch on the way in there for a strike, strike one. The wind is a gale today and blowing out. Anything hit up in the air is going to be a real adventure. There's a strike. And a cutting up there, one and one. I mean, a real adventure today. That's high a ball. Mm. Could be one of those days where it's a 23 22 game. Line shot, base at the left. And Jason Stein aboard. And here's Garrett Gordon. The pitcher today for the Giants. Napoleon delivers. Pitch high, a ball. Trevians have been undefeated so far this year by the grace of God. They've not exactly played well, but have managed to win everything so far. There's a long fly ball up in the air. Back it goes and out of here. Home run. Opposite field shot by Gordon and the Giants lead it. Two to nothing on the blast by Garrett Gordon. Opposite field shot. Over the fence and left center. Here's Reese. That's a ball. Now, Jimmy Reese, very highly regarded. There's a strike on the outside corner. Reese. Uh, Signed uh, letter of intent at Kansas State. That's low ball. Out the pitch inside a ball. Kevin Sullivan on deck. Outfield playing straight away. And today you better play deep. There's a line shot right down the line. That's going to be a fair ball. Reese thought it was foul and turned out to be fair ball. And Reese going to go into second with a double. He might have been able to go further had he not stood there expecting it to go foul. Here's Sullivan. Kevin Sullivan. There's a strike on the inside corner. Strike one. Reese with the lead off second. Napoleon the sign from Justin Wells. Delivering on the way. So we get a bit strike. Johnny Lindquist on deck. Shortstop for the uh, for the Giants. Beautiful day. Temperature wise. A pitch outside a ball. But to get the beautiful day, we have to take the wind. And I mean, it is a gale. They've got full gale warnings out on the lake. 35, 40 mile an hour winds, some gusting even higher than that. Drop third strike, drop, and the tag right away. And the out, one away. Here's Johnny Lindquist. Johnny, 
There's a fly ball right fielder. Rusky over has it for the out. Two down. And here's Michael Offerins. Offerins. Offerins takes a pitch in there for a strike. Offerins. Left fielder. And the delivery going to be experienced. A little fall tip. Going to be experienced today just holding the camera still. Delivery. Outside a ball. And that's outside a ball. There's a foul ball back and out of play. Wind is blowing a gale. And a little foul tip, got a little piece of it. Two out, two runs in on the home run by Garrett Gordon. Opposite field shot. Another one fouled back. Second man of strike three and the inning over. Not before two runs on three hits. No errors, two left. And Steven Spellman. Spellman, Mazzoni, and Neal do up for the Trevians. Here in the bottom half of the first inning. There's a strike. Strike what? By a little dribbler foul. Off to the left. Pitch is high, a ball. And that's a ball. Another one squibbed off foul. And another one. Spellman hanging in tough. Get the pitchers early and particularly on a day like today. If you can get a pitcher really pitching, really throwing a lot of pitches, that ball's gonna come up and once it comes up, Get it up in the air, and you're going to get yourself some pretty good yardage out of it. And the base hit to the left, a little single. And here's Stephen Mazzoni. Did I say Mark Mazzoni on the. I might have. His brother. Here today. Garrett Gordon delivers, in there for a strike. Garrett's brother G Rory here today. Rory Gordon played at uh, University of Iowa. And pitch out and he was going and they got him on the tag. One out. There's a high pop-up on the infield. And Lundquist takes it for the out. 
Two down. Here's Will Neal. Another one fall back. First inning, bottom half of the first, two nothing. Holland Park. Boy, this season already into its final month. Only a month left. There's a fly ball, right fielder, Jeff Silver. Takes it for the out and the inning over. Trevians go quietly in the first. At the end of one, it's 2-0 in favor of Highland Park over the Trevians, and we'll be back with more in just a moment. Highland Park Giants lead it 2-0 as we go to the top of the second inning here. Bottom third in the batting order. Two up. Bryce Cadell. A.J. Nathan and... Brian Evans. There's a strike. Second of his. Strike two. Ooh, didn't miss by much. A little outside of ball. Dylan Napoleon on the mound today for the Nutra Trevians. Inside a ball. Next week in real time, Nutra got a couple of important games. Of course, the Evanston. New trail rivalry, always interesting. Stevenson and Carmel of Mundelein. All up ahead this week. Strike three. Here's Nathan. A.J. Nathan. First pitch hitting, ground ball, third baseman has it. Long throw in time on the tag. And there's two away. There's a strike. To Evans. That's high ball. Outfield shaded around a little bit, but giving up the power alleys. And outside the ball. And the count's gone to three and one. Outside a ball, ball four, and Evans draws a walk aboard at first. Here's Jason Stein. Let off the ball game with a base hit. Last inning. There's a high pop-up foul, and that's going to get out of play. Tim Duxbury playing third today. And low ball. Runner will stay put. There's a strike. That's low and outside of all. Yeah. 
tools of ignorance. Today, there goes a runner. And they got him. And the inning over. Tools of ignorance uh, is uh, Justin Wells today for the Trevians. Anyway, in the inning, no runs, no hits. A walk, but nobody left. Go to the bottom half of the frame. Here's Justin Wells to lead it off. Wells, Rutsky, and Napoleon. Middle of the batting order do up. There's a strike. Strike one. That's low ball. And fall ball back. And a windshield whacker. Here's a ground ball right at Lindquist. Over to receive for the gal. One away. And here's Matt Rusky. Boy, Matt has really been on a hitting tier. Long ball as of late. A lot of them. Straight. Low and uh, away, a ball, and the count evens up at one and one. Yeah, strike, strike two. Garrett Gordon on the mound for the Island Park Giants. Gets his sign from A.J. Nathan. Delivery on the way. That's high a ball. Dylan Napoleon on deck. And outside a ball. Ball, ball back. Uh, any of our uh, the ball, ball four. Any of our viewers watching in Fort Sheridan or any further north looking for uh, uh, keep your eye out for the infield today because it's going to blow up that way. Which kind of tells you because we've had so much rain you would think it would Stay put, but there's a strike to Napoleon. I mean, they may find it in the Upper Peninsula by the time we get done with the day today. There's a ground ball that's going to get through for the base hit single to left. And here's Tim Duxbury. Charlie Hudson running a first. That's a ball. I think I'm right on that. 29. I hope I'm right on the number there. Tim Duxbury. Takes a strike. Tim, the third baseman today for the Trevians. There's a strike. Two aboard. One out. That's high a ball. They lock and the load. That bounces in and runners advance on. Wild pitch. Only Rusky advanced. Napoleon stayed put. That surprised me.
Here's a high fly ball. Back it goes up in the wind. And boom, off the wall. And will score two on that. And into second goes Duxbury. And here's Bob Cook, the shortstop today. With them pulling it on the mound. There's the foul ball, straight. That's a ball. And the count evens up at one and one. The cook. Jonathan Hall on deck. High, a ball, throw back out the second. And Duxbury back in plenty of time. There's a fly ball left field up into the wind. Back it goes, and boom, out of here. Home run. Bob Cook with the two run shot and the Trevians now take a 4-2 lead. Here's Jonathan Hall. He hits a ground ball right through for the base hit. Single. Steven Spellman the batter. Pitch inside the ball. They'll make it a strike on the inside corner. They're going to miss strike. One at one. We'll make it 0 and 2 on Spellman. Set to the outside. Pitch is out there. A little high, though. Oh, ball. And 1 and 2 to the neutral center fielder. Throw to first and runner back in plenty of time. That gets away. Off the second goes Cook. Yeah, another wild pitch. That's low and outside the ball. And the count on full. Now, after having Steven 0-2, Garrett Gordon, threat of losing him. Pitcher on the way. Ball four, he did lose him. Two on, one out. Here's Mazzoni. Pitch is high for a ball, ball one. Steven Mazzoni, the batter. Uh, tough day to pitch, particularly if you're curveball, knuckleball pitcher. And ball's really going to do some nasty things. Tough to get it over the plate. Pitch outside a ball. I don't know too many high school players, uh, high school pitchers that are knuckleballers, though. There's a strike. Mostly they have a tendency to try to overthrow it, not underthrow it. And knuckleball is not thrown very fast. There's a strike on the inside corner. 
Deuces on the count. This is on the count to Steve Mazzoni. Two on, one out. There's a fly ball, right field. Coming in a little bit, take it for the out. And they'll hold the runner, good good move, nice, nice throw. And here's uh, Will Neal. They are shading Will a little bit towards right. Still a big gap in right center though. There's a high pop-up, foul. Everybody calling for it, drops in between them. Going real tough to catch pop-ups today anyway. Now Wind will move it halfway over. Anyway, 0-2. To Will Nail. Shave and a haircut, two bits. Kind of high and tight. There's a fly ball. That's a gapper out there in the right center. His power alley. And one hops the fence. Will Neal on his way to third. Here comes the throw. Not in time. Triple for Will Neal. Driving him two more. And it is six to two in favor of New Cheer. Pitch low and outside of all. Here's Justin Wells. Batting cleanup today. Inside a ball. Yeah, I noticed they're talking pretty highly of uh, Chris Frederick. There's a base hit to left. That'll drive home a run. Chris uh, played for Loyola Academy a couple of years ago. Desmaris he is the runner at first. I said Charlie Hodson. No, I'm right. Desmaris running at first for Wells. Hodson's running for Napoleon. Guys, the courtesy runners. There's a strike. That's a ball. That's a strike. Throw it to first. They got him. Picked off. And they're getting over. But not before the Trevians do a little damage and score seven runs on six hits. And we'll be back with more in just a moment here on the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Trevians have a 7-2 lead as we go to the top of the third inning. Top of the batting order due up for the Highland Park Giants. Stein, Gordon, and Reese. For Highland Park. That's low ball, ball one. There's a strike. And Cotty's up at one and one. Garrett Gordon on deck. Garrett, pitcher for the Giants today. And is knocked in the two runs that the Giants have with a home run back in the first inning. And Blackjack on the count to Stein. There's a high pop up and back and out of play. Here's Jason Stein batting. Ground ball picked up by Cook. Over to Neal in time for the out. By Hall, rather. Not by Cook. Cook's shortstop. Hall's second base. One out. Here's Garrett Gordon. 
Pitches eye a ball. That's a ball. Here's a strike. And a fly ball. Rusky right at him, just about. A couple of steps over, and hands it for the gap. Two down. And here's Jimmy Reese. There's a strike. Kevin Sullivan on deck. Ground ball. Slow roller picked up by Neal. Over to Napoleon covering for the out. And a one, two, three inning. No runs, no hits, no errors. Nobody left. And we go to the bottom of the third. Ruske leads it off. Ruske, Napoleon to Duxbury. Strike. Strike one. To Rusky. And 55 footer ball. One and one. To the Trevian's right fielder. Round ball, one hopper. Lindquist over to first in time. Two up, uh, one up, one down. Here's Dylan Napoleon. And a base hit. Right back up the middle. And Hodson, the courtesy runner. And here's Tim Duxbury. He Doubled off the fence last time up. There's a one hopper. Lindquist takes it himself over to first. And a one, two, three inning on both sides of the ball. In the inning, no runs, no, well, a hit. And nobody left. At the end of three, it's 7 2 New Trier. 7 2 the score. Go to the fourth inning here. Uh-oh, I noticed I made an error in my scoring. And yeah, ground ball. Throw over to first. Nope. Pull him off the bag, an error. Not sure if it was on the throw or on the catch, but an error. That's a ball outside. Johnny Lindquist, the batter. So Sullivan aboard via the error. Round ball. Line shot. Caught. And there. They're saying it was a one bouncer. But I thought he may have been caught on the fly by Duxbury down that line. Didn't sound like it hit anything else. There's a line shot right at Duxbury. So they just ruled that as a ground out, 5-3. And Sullivan at second. There's a strike. Here's offering. That's a ball. 
to the left fielder of the Highland Park Giants. Runner in second. One out. That's a ball outside. Even Johnny Lindquist thought it was caught on the fly. He started heading right to the dugout. Ball four. But unfortunately, it went so fast, we didn't get a chance to get the camera over. Here's Bryce Cadell. Cotto, bats. Takes a pitch outside the ball. Ball one. Nice, sunshiny day. Nice spring day. There's a ground ball. Whoa, a little bobble. Flip over to first and time. 3 1 on the put out. And two men in scoring position. Here's A.J. Nathan. That's a ball outside. Top of the fourth. And a ground ball bobbled by Duxbury and throw not in time. Second error of the inning. Evans the batter, walked his last time up. There's a high pop-up, foul, and out of play. That's a ball. Runner at first. And third. That's a ball. Wind to blowing out. And ball four. So bases are loaded with two out. Which is high ball. And Jason Stein, the batter. 7-3 now the score. There's strike. One and one. There's a fall ball. Windshield whacker. Ground ball. High bounder. Deep short. Throw to second. And the fielder's choice ends the inning. One run on no hits. Two errors. Two walks. And three left. Go to the bottom half of the fourth. And leading it off is Bob Cook. He popped one out of here. Got it up in the wind. That's a ball. Jonathan Hall on deck. No fall ball. Hit him in the batter's box.
I think a lot of parents kind of, you know, the excitement of winning games is always important to them. But in the scheme of things, there's a slow little ground ball. Pick up the throw in time. In the scheme of things, games during the regular season mean very little. They're just quizzes you know, what you've learned. The test comes in the playoffs. That's a ball. Everybody makes the playoffs, so it's not a case of having to win to get there or anything like that. So it's So get a man strike. That's a ball. The lock and load inside a ball. There's a long fly ball. Back it goes up in the wind and boom off the scoreboard. Home run for Jonathan Hall. Here's Spellman. Outside of all. <laughs> Ground ball, high bounder, short stop. Whoa, got the feet tangled up a little bit. And spelling the board on the air. Here's Mazzoni. Foul ball. There's a bunt, foul ball, strike. So Steven Mazzoni, yet to reach base safely in this one. There's a foul ball back. Throw to first, runner back. Ground ball knocked down by Gordon over to second out. On the first, not in time. Fielder's choice. And two away. Here's Will Neal. Each team has scored a run here in the fourth. Another one fouled off. Windshield Wacker. Uh, hot shot foul into the dugout. Sent the Giants scrambling. That's eye ball. Throw over to first. Mazzoni back. At the inside of the ball. Fourth inning. Throw to first. There's a strike. Strike three. And the inning over. At the end of four, it's 8-3 in favor of the Tribunes over the Highland Park Giants. And we'll be back with more here on the network. Fifth inning of this one. And the, whoops, let's fix that score. The New Trevians lead this one 8-3 as we 
go to the top of the fifth inning. Here's Garrett Gordon to lead it off. There's a strike. Strike one. That's outside a ball. Ground ball. Knocked down by Will Nail over to Napoleon covering. One away. And here's Jimmy Reese. Outside of all. And a strike on the inside corner. And outside the ball. And that's outside for a ball. Three and one the count. To Jimmy Reese. And ball four. Reese draws the ball. Here's Kevin Sullivan. Pitches high ball. There's a high pop up. And well now now called off by Hall, who takes it for the out. Two out. Here's Johnny Lindquist. Here's a strike on the outside corner. Strike one. This ump appears to be giving the outside corner. That's high ball. And kind of up at aces. Inside a ball. And the count's gone. Blackjack on the Giants shortstop. Hot shot foul. And low and outside a ball. Round ball. Knocked down. Duckberry. Throw not in time. Another error. Third error of the ball game. For the Trevs. Two on. And here's Mike Offerance. Takes pitch outside for a ball. Ball one. There's a high fly ball. Power alley. Back it goes and gone. Home run for Mike Offerings. And suddenly it's an 8 6 ball game. Here's Bryce Cotto. Bryce Cadell takes a pitch low and inside a ball. Outside a ball. Wells, Rusky, and Napoleon do up in the bottom half of the fifth for the new trier Trevians. Second base strike. And Blackjack on the count. Delivery. Outside of all. Three and one.
Another one fall back. And he did go, strike three, and the inning over. But not before. Three runs across, and it's 8-6. On the home run, three-run shot by Offerance. Pitch outside a ball to Justin Wells. Come on out. Enjoy the baseball games here. Fun, and it's free. And strike. There's one fouled off. For the windshield whacker. And a base hit. Right back. Right center. And again. Andrew Desmaris on the pinch run. Here's Matt Rusky. Takes a pitch high ball. Four home runs in the ball game. Two by each team. There's a fly ball. Shallow. And our friends will come down with it. Win nearly took it away from him. Here's Napoleon. Two for two on the day is Dylan. That's a ball. You don't want to be stuck in your arm out like that. Good way to get it hurt. There's a line shot base hit. There's a strike. Strike one. To Tim Duxbury. Drove in with three errors today. Strike three. And there's two away. Here's Bob Cook. And a ground ball to pick up. Over to first in time. And we'll move, we'll keep it here as we go to the top of the sixth inning. There's a strike. To A.J. Nathan. And a ball. They lock and load. High a ball. And outside a ball. And ball four. And a leadoff walk, here's Evans. And fall off for the strike. Runner at first. And tight for the ball. Another one fouled off. There's a wide shot base hit. And runner gonna 
Make it all the way over to third. Runners at the corners. As Manperl makes it over there as the courtesy runner for Nathan. There's a strike to Jason Stein. And that bounces in for the ball. New battery for the Trevians. Sella now pitching. And Tom Harvey now catching. John Sella on the mound. That's a ball. Now the pitch. There's a fly ball, center field. And Spellman with the catch. They'll concede the run. And it's 8 7. And here's Garrett Gordon. That's low ball. Shave and a haircut. Two bits. High and tight for the ball. And shave off the knee caps a little bit for the ball. There's a strike on the inside corner. And ball four. So two on. Or three on make it. Bases loaded for Reese. That's a ball. Base is loaded. Evans at third. No, I'm right. Two on. There's a base hit to right. And coming on the score. And tie this ball game up is Brian Evans. Two out. And we're all knotted up at eight. Top of the sixth inning. Pitch is high ball. A new pitcher, Duxbury, on the mound now. That's a ball. So a couple of... Shifts around. Medeker was playing third the, at the beginning of the inning. But now Bob Cook has moved over to third and Dylan Napoleon is playing short. Yeah, it's a strike. Kevin Sullivan, one out. Swing and a miss, strike. Duck, bury the pitch, strike three. And there's two away. Big time strikeout. What would the game leading run at third? 
And only one out. There's a strike. Now there's two. And Garrett Gordon still on at third. Here's Johnny Lindquist. There's a high fly ball. And taken by Mazzoni for the out. And the inning. But not before two runs, and we're tied up at eight. And we got ourselves a new ball game all tied up at eight as we go to the bottom half of the sixth inning. That's a ball, ball one. New pitcher on the mound. Merman on the mound now for the Alex Merman now on the mound for the Giants. So we're going to make the strike. Jonathan Hall leads it off here. Hall, Spellman, and Mazzoni. 9-1-2 and two in the batting order for the New Trier Trevians. Pitches low and inside a ball. And the count goes blackjack to Jonathan Hall last time up. John popped one out of here. Up against the scoreboard out there. First time I've seen anybody hit the scoreboard out there. Since they moved it. Used to be over in foul territory. And there goes the infield again, headed towards Mackinac Island. Outfield playing pretty much straight away. There's a strike. Now the pitch, that's ball four. And Hall aboard. Here's Steven Spellman. That's a ball outside. One and all. Steve Mazzoni on deck. Ball game all knotted up now. New Trey this year has had the habit of scoring in bunches. He got flicked a little bit on the shoulder with the pitch and two on. Here's Mazzoni. There's a strike. Strike one. Demaz. Used to be an old major. There's a bunt. Throw to first. Oh my! Uh, covering was Evans, and uh, he may have even broken his arm. He stuck that arm out there for the tag. He's safe. They score that as an error. I don't know. I think I might even score that as a hit. But the sacrifice works. Advancing the runners along. Here's Will Neal. He fouled off. So, quick change here in the lineup of the Giants. Ground ball. Whoops. Right through the five hole. Right between the legs. Didn't get down on the ball. And a run home. And here is Tommy Harvey batting for the first time. Wells was two for three in the two times he was up. Tommy Harvey batting now. No two errors have led to a couple of runs or a run here. There's a high pop-up. And shortstop going back. Oh, the wind got a hold of it. Nope. Can't get it. Throw to second. Not in time. And another run home as Mazzoni comes home. And it's 10. Ten run. Ten to eight. 
Here's Rusky. Officially 0 for 2 at the plate. He did walk and score run back in the first inning. Coming home on the double by Duxbury. And then Duxbury brought home on the home run by Bob Cook. Wind blowing out today. There's a little, whoops, <laughs> lost in the sun. Sun blown, sun and wind blown single. And here is Dylan Napoleon. He's three for three on the day. Infield pulled in, looking for a play in the play. Bases are loaded. There's a strike. They're rather surprised we haven't had more home runs today. Well, with the wind blowing like it is, but pitchers have done a pretty good job of getting the ball. Keeping the ball down, there has not been a lot of fly balls, fly ball outs this ball game. Pitch is high ball. Only one, two, only three, fly, four fly ball outs. One of them a sacrifice fly by Highland Park, and the Travians have been out on fly balls only one, two, three times. Well, that's pretty telling, pretty much telling onto that. Dylan Napoleon bats. Round ball. Through for the base hit. That's going to score two more and make it 13. to eight. And here is Duxbury. Takes the ball. Cook on deck. Bob Cook. Now playing third for the Trevs. That's a ball outside. And a ball. Time called. Uh, Nathan wants to take a talk. There's a, another ball. Thirteen to five now the score. Favorite new chair. And bounces in. Ball. And ball four. Here's Cook. Courtesy runner over at first. Or runner anyway. Wild pitch. Another run home. As Rusky comes home to score. Two in scoring position. Foul ball back. Now Bob Cook bats. And that one gets away, and yet another run come to score. That's a ball. That's side. Ground ball past the third baseman on the pulled in infield. And trotting home to score. Another run. And Bob Cook. Lone man left out on the bases. Here's Charlie Hudson batting on his own accord. Hudson 
Batting for Jonathan Hall. Outside a ball. Still, nobody out. Boys have batted around here. And nobody has made it out. Nine runs in. In the inning. One more. And this one's over. Or two more. Make, make it eight runs in. Pitches high ball. Don't know how to count here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, eight runs in. So I'm going to miss strike. Strike three, but stolen base for Cook. And right along the line, that'll score another run. And now nine runs in in the inning. And into second goes Desmaris batting for Spellman. There's Lowell Hall batting for Mazzoni. New pitcher, pitches low ball. Seventeen eight, the score. Andrew Desmaris at second represents the slaughter rule run in this ball game. Pitches low ball. That's low ball, ball four. Bryce Cuddle now on the mound. And here is Will Neal. Pitches high a ball. Will Neal banning for the fifth time in the ball game. Second time this inning. He was safe on an error first time up. As more of the infield heads towards Mackinac Island. Another 40 mile per hour wind gust takes it away. Pitches low ball. Bryce gets his sign from AJ. And the pitch outside a ball. There's a base hit to right. That's going to end the ball game. Single and the run home to make it 18 to 8. And the ball game all over. We'll be back in just a moment to wrap this one up. The final word on this ball game for the Nutra Trevians 18 runs on 16 hits, three errors. They were struck out three times, walked five. Nutra left three on base and one stolen base. For the Highland Park Giants, eight runs on six hits. They also had three errors. Six strikeouts, seven walks, and six left on base. So this is Mark Braun. Hope you enjoyed this broadcast. Join us for our next game here on the network. Coming up uh, shortly. And for all of us here at the network, we say as always, 